Hello, it's Scott Manley here with an answer to a question I get asked all the time. Namely, should I buy this game? Well, basically, there's a bunch of sales that have happened over the summer, and the Steam sale has just finished. But uh, people ask me, should I buy this? What should I get? I've only got so much money. Well, you know what? Forget about spending money. Here's a bunch of games that are totally free, right? So we're going to start out with Orbiter 2010. This is actually the sequel to Orbiter 2006, but it is the best and most realistic space simulator that exists. So if you are a fan of Kerbal Space Program and you want to be more realistic, Orbiter 2010 is where you go. There is a ton of mods for it that add more realistic spacecraft. There's at least two different versions of the Apollo program. There's a shuttle. There's a bunch of spacecraft with switches that work in incredible detail. There's like sci-fi ships. There's you know, projects that never quite happened, projects that might happen, and they're all there within the Orbiter engine. The best thing is Orbiter has really good uh, autopilots, right? It has really good navigation software, uh, MFDs that let you plot courses to and from the moon, help you land on the moon, and uh, yeah, it does everything you need. I mean, Kerbal Space Program is better in some ways, Orbiter is better in other ways, but Orbiter is totally free, so everyone should look at it. Now, moving on, if you like Kerbal Space Program career mode and you thought that actually flying the spacecraft was getting in the way of enjoying all those contracts and planning your research and, you know, assigning people and things like that, then Race Into Space is what you want. Now, Race Into Space was originally known as Buzz Aldrin's Race Into Space. It was a commercial game released in the 1990s on the PC, but, uh, you know, eventually the publishing contract ended and the developers took the source code, fixed it, removed the references to Buzz Aldrin as an endorsement, and the game has essentially been released for free. Uh, it, in some ways, it's actually better than Buzz Aldrin's Race Into Space. In other ways, well, it is a 20-year-old game, but it is totally free. It's on SourceForge, and there's a few patches and stuff for it. It has all this uh, interesting archival video showing your successes and failures, so it obviously requires you to overlook the fact that this is a 20-year-old game. The video is you know, super high quality, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, yeah, no, it is, it is really a quite nice strategy game very, very hard. It does have a two-player mode, so you can play against each other and see who can race each other to the moon. And of course, it's totally free. But maybe you want a spaceship game where you shoot things. Well, have I got a game for you. See, Free Space 2 was a one kind of the gold standard of spaceflight combat simulators, and when that company stopped making it, they basically let everyone have the source code under agreement that they didn't just take the Free Space 2 graphics and bolt them on top. So people took the code and they released their own games, such as Diaspora Shattered Armistice, which is probably the best Battlestar Galactica game available anywhere. There is an official Battlestar Galactica game, but this fan-made game is fully voiced, it has cutscenes, it has your voiced briefings, it has models that look this thing, it has a space flight engine that flies like you imagine a Viper would fly, it has intense combat, guns firing everywhere, Cylons, it has everything you want. It is, oh, it is jaw-dropping. The only thing it doesn't have is it only has about, like, half a dozen real missions. And so, once you've played it through, you're really going to be wanting more. And the sad thing is there's only a very limited amount of, of a game here. You can go back and play it in even more hardcore mode if you like. This is Diaspora Shattered Armistice. Absolutely recommend it. Now, if this super polished combat sim is lacking, then perhaps you want a game which gives you the opportunity to be more than a combat pilot, to be a bounty hunter, to be a trader, to be everything that Elite lets you. Well, Oolite is the thing you might be looking for. Now, Oolite 
is a game. It's, it's about a decade old now. It's a free game based upon the original Elite from 1984. It's obviously got modernised graphics. It has a modding system, a scripting system, but it looks very, very much like the original Elite. Um, sound effects are kind of lousy, but I'll bet that there is a mod that makes the sound effects way better. So Oolight has so many mods, I can't even begin to cover how many there are. There's tons of extra ships, missions, new mechanics for making money, and of course, there's that wonderful, memorable docking sequence which uh, will cause you all sorts of pain and heartache. Finally, if you like the look of Elite Dangerous, but really the exploration was the thing that really attracted you, the whole simulated galaxy that Elite Dangerous has to offer, well, Space Engine is free and it goes one step better. It doesn't simulate an entire galaxy, it simulates the whole universe. They, of course, simulate everything from the galaxy d down to the stars, down to planets, down to fractal terrain on the surfaces of these objects. You can go to many, many known objects. This is a charcoal, which is an asteroid with a ring around it. Uh, so the, the galaxy is actually built up partly out of real data from astronomical catalogues, and where there are gaps in the data, they fill it in with uh, random number generators, procedurally generated content, so that you can go anywhere in the universe. There are obviously trillions of galaxies out there containing trillions of stars with planets around them, asteroids around them. This is a game that is so big it is not humanly possible to see everything in it. Okay, it's not really a game, it is something you do in your spare time, you relax, you wander around a galaxy, and you try to find cool and interesting formations. You are looking for that most perfect piece of hay in a haystack, right? There is no simulated universe with a greater scope than Space Engine. Space Engine doesn't have much in the way of gameplay, but you know what? It's free, it has enough to keep you busy for as long as you are prepared to explore. So there you go, five awesome uh, pieces of content worth checking out. I should probably give honourable shout-outs to Space Station 13, which is fantastic if you have a bunch of friends to play it with and can figure out its really interesting control system. And uh, Babylon 5, I Found Her, which is a, a simulation based around the Babylon 5 TV shows. It's not quite as polished as uh, Diaspora. Diaspora is a much more recent production. But uh, both of those are also worth looking at. So yeah, these are all free. Check them out. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.